We've been told sitting for hours is terrible for your health. It's even been called the new smoking. But a fascinating study with a tribe in Tanzania questions what we knew about sitting and could change the way you sit forever. See, sitting itself actually may not be the problem at all. By the end of this video, you'll discover why your muscles get stiff sitting, the best seating positions for eliminating stiff joints, and how a hunter-gatherer tribe avoids the harmful effects of sitting even while sitting as much as we do. And when you start using these positions, you'll experience less stiffness, better circulation, and your body will start working with you instead of against you. And now if you want a full at-home course to help rebuild strength, flexibility, combat the sitting, while supporting the channel, then check out our new Primal Mobility course at any time during this video by clicking the link down in the description. It takes just 10 minutes a session, you can do this all at home. So in the Western world, we sit on average about eight to 10 hours a day, and sitting has been correlated to increased risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, joint pain, and muscle stiffness. And the solution we've been told, stop sitting. But here's the problem, and let's be honest here, that's pretty unrealistic for most people. You know, we have jobs, we have to eat meals, we need transportation, and we want to relax at home. Sitting is unavoidable. It's not realistic to stand or do yoga all day. In fact, as you'll see in just a moment, standing all day may actually be worse in some regards. But here's the good news. New research is showing there may be a much better option when it comes to sitting. And this doesn't require you to eliminate sitting from your life. So here's where it gets interesting. Researchers decide to study the Hatsa or the Hidzabe, a hunter-gatherer tribe in Tanzania who basically live like we did thousands of years ago. And what the researchers found was pretty shocking. The Hidzabe sit for about 9.8 hours a day. That's almost identical to us. So think about that for a second. If sitting was so bad for our health, shouldn't the Hidzabe be just as sick and stiff as we are? but they're not. They show very low levels of cardiovascular disease markers, less chronic joint pains that plague so many of us. So what's the difference? Well, when they examined further, they discovered one small but massive difference, and that's chairs. The Hidzabe sit as much as us, but never in chairs. They rested in several other unique positions throughout the day. There are actually three specific positions you can swap with chair sitting to dramatically reduce stiffness and eliminate pains, which I'll break down in just a moment. But first, here are the two key factors that make these alternate sitting positions dramatically better for your body. The first is muscle activation. See, when you sink into a chair, your muscles essentially go dormant. They're not working, and after just 4.5 hours of chair sitting, your back muscles become 16% stiffer. But here's the fascinating part. When the Hidzabe squat or kneel, their muscles are still working. Researchers measured this and found that squatting activates muscles up to 20 to 40% of walking intensity, even during rest. So think about that. They're getting a light activation even while they rest. And here's the proof that this matters. In one study, researchers had people sit for 4.5 hours. One group just sat normally in chairs and another group had their back muscles gently stimulated to keep them slightly active. And the results? The normal sitting group saw their muscle stiffness increase by 16%, but the group that kept their muscles lightly engaged, their stiffness actually decreased by 10.8%. They didn't just prevent the damage, they reversed it. The second factor that makes the Hidzabe sitting position so much better is blood flow. Different sitting positions dramatically affect your circulation, and poor circulation leads to that heavy, achy feeling in your legs, it contributes to swelling, and can even increase your risk of blood clots. When researchers tested various sitting positions, here's what they found. Chair sitting showed 55% higher markers of blood pooling compared to lying down. But positions like cross-legged sitting or crook sitting, where you sit on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat, actually improve blood flow to your legs by five to 8% compared to lying down. And here's what was most surprising to me. Standing actually caused the worst blood pooling of all the positions tested. 89% more than lying down. So this is something to keep in mind if you have problems with things like swelling your legs. So what's the solution? First, here are some of the best sitting positions based on the research. Number one, crook sitting. Sit on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat in front of you. This gives you the best blood flow and keeps your core muscles engaged. Number two is cross-legged sitting, the classic meditation position. This is really good for hip mobility and it maintains muscle activation in your core and legs. Number three is the full squat or supported squat. So 
You can do this by using a stool or yoga block to make squatting more comfortable, especially if you can't get into that full one. And this position keeps the most muscles active. Now, I know what you're thinking. I can't sit on the floor at my office job. Well, here's some tips for you at work. Try using a stability ball for 30 to 60 minutes at a time instead of your chair. Sit cross-legged in your chair when possible. Choose active sitting versus passive sitting whenever available. Set a timer every day for one to two hours, and when it goes off, spend two minutes in a supported squat or do 10 bodyweight squats or take a movement break. And at home, watch TV from the floor instead of sinking into a couch or work on your laptop from different floor positions. Do scrolling on your phone while in a supported squat. Eat some meals while sitting cross-legged at a lower table. See, the key is variety and keeping those muscles from going completely dormant. And now if you have bad knees or feel like you're not flexible enough for these four positions, that's completely valid. If you have existing joint issues, you know, don't force these positions, start small, and maybe just five minutes of floor sitting while watching TV, or use cushions or props to make it more comfortable. You want to gradually build up your tolerance for this. The goal isn't to completely eliminate chairs, it's to add variety and prevent your muscles from shutting down completely for hours and to improve blood flow at the same time. Remember, the Hidzabe aren't doing extreme yoga positions. They're just avoiding the complete muscle shutdown that happens when you melt into a chair for hours. So do this, try this for the next seven days. Just spend 10 minutes a day in one of these floor positions and notice if your back starts to feel better, if your hips feel more mobile and you feel less overall stiffness. Your body will thank you for giving it the variety it needs. Now this is just one of the pieces that we use to combat sitting and unlock your pain-free body. If you want to avoid the problems of chair sitting, but also start improving that strength and flexibility, this is where our new primal mobility course comes in. So each session is just 10 minutes or less and you can do them in your living room and you'll work to develop a handful of key mobility moves to unlock tight muscles and strengthen those joints. Each of these builds into your daily activities and athletic performance. And right now we have a discount on this course. So if you click the link in the description, you can check that out. Now I'm not sure how long that discount will be available. So if you're interested, be sure to check that out right now. All right, and if you want a fast way to increase mobility and unlock those tight hips so you can learn how to sit cross-legged with ease, check out the video here. Inside this video, you'll learn one of the key moves from our primal mobility course to open up your hips. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.